in this envelope is awesomeness. Stay tuned. All right, so you've probably seen from the title what this is already, but I am unpackaging it with you for the first time today. Uh, and just as a side note too, this comes from this address here. So I'm like, I have no idea who that is or what that is. And I also got an email from Stephen Patton and he's apparently the creator of this or at least the person in charge of the Indiegogo thing. So that is your receipt and the package comes from him. All right, let's see what else we have. Uh, looks like I ordered two. I think I remember that now because I wanted to do a giveaway of one eventually. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be part of that. Okay, let's see what it is. Here it goes. Oh, look at that. Portable Painter Micro. I cannot wait. This thing is so tiny. I have the regular Portable Painter. If you haven't seen my watercolor palettes tour, that's up here in the corner and probably in the description box below. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Some directions and instructions. Sweet. Okay. Wow, it's tiny. I'm gonna zoom you in, it's so tiny. So here's my hand. I probably should have zoomed you out for that actually, but there we go, the lid comes off and it looks like it's a mixing tray. Now what? Read the directions, what, what directions? <laughs> the ones I just showed you. <laughs> Why would we do that? That would be too easy. Oh, nice. This one here. Okay, so it comes with six half pans, and I didn't know if it did or not because with your order you get this extra case of pans and you get three full pans and six more half pans. So I was curious if it even came with pans, and it does. And they're a little different. I think they're stuck in with a little glue dot, if I remember correctly, but let's open these and I'll show you what they are, because they are not quite the same as a regular half pan. Here you are, because they have this little ledge there. You can see that on it. So they are slightly different. Portable painter, standard. So I'm curious if the regular portable painter, and not the micro, the regular one I have has these bridges as well. I've never really noticed. Okay, so we can fill it with six half pans, or you can take them out and put in whatever arrangement of full pans and half pans that you want. It's going to be either a choice between five colors, four colors, or six colors. And I really like working in full pans. It's easier for the brush and all that to get in and out. But that's very limited color choices. <laughs> that could be that could be difficult. So maybe I will stick with these half pans that are already in it for now, for my first run at this, and kind of change it up as I go, I guess. Oh yeah, shows about the little stickers. Oh, and how to get out. Remove half pans with the tip of a palette knife. Let's try that. This is the only palette knife I actually have handy, so we'll see if it works. I think it's too soft. I'm gonna have to get the palette knife like the shoe. I have a plastic one, I wonder if that'll work. No, it's too thick. I'm not taking them out. I just realized, even though I told you briefly a few moments ago, that they're probably stuck in with these little sticker things. So I don't really want to take them out since I'm planning on using the six half pans anyway. So the next question is what paint to put in them. So I have the, here I actually have it with me, the one I took to the lake, my Mission Gold palette that I just took to the lake. You saw me use that in that video. I can link that for you too. Anyway, it's kind of a big palette, uh, at least if you compare it to this one. <laughs> so I think I will put the Mission Gold in there because I already have a really tiny core palette. And the only paints I really have in tubes are the core and the Mission Gold right now. I do have a little bit left in my Winsor & Newton one, but I don't really like those paints. So the idea is you have these for mixing wells. This you can hold water or you can mix in that as well. It's got a little thing here. Like if you wanted to secure it like between your fingers, I think, like that maybe, and hold it, it just, 
kind of helps you maybe not drop it quite so easily. I'm not sure. I'm glad it's flat. I really like to lay my palettes right next to what I'm working with this flat surface. So I'm glad it doesn't have another wing like the Cloverleaf palette, which I still need to fill, by the way. I may have to buy some paint because I'm kind of using up Mission Gold and pour, so. <sighs> I might need to try something different. Like, what is that one I really like, the Indigo in Sennelier? Might wanna try some of their paints, maybe. Okay, so let's get out our Mission Gold. This is going to suck. <laughs> Do you remember the trouble I had creating this palette? And it has 11 colors, and now I have to get down to six colors somehow. I suppose I could fill up some of these other pans and have them dry and just take them with me. I don't know, I wouldn't switch them out, but I'd have them, but I'm not going to do that. That just seems like a lot of work or a waste of the idea. So we are gonna choose six colors from Mission Gold, stick them in here, let them dry, and play with this. So I dug out my master color chart from my Mission Gold paints along with the 11 that I had already chosen. And it was very tempting to just choose colors that were safe that I knew really well, but I pushed myself a little bit I ended up with Lemon Yellow, Rose Matter, the Red Brown, Cobalt Blue Hue Number 1, Ultramarine Deep, and Sap Green. Four different colors than I have chosen previously, so we are, we're uh, stepping out of our comfort zone with these. I'm excited to try them out. I checked this the day after I put these paints in and they were still very wet, and now it has been, let me think about that, uh, several days. We'll just call it several days. <laughs> because I went out of town and came back for two days. They're still very soft. Oop, yep, look at that. So that's kind of unfortunate because I need to leave town again tomorrow, but maybe they'll be okay. Long story short is I want to compare this against the Portable Painter Classic is what they're calling this now on their website. And so I don't have any paint in here that's dried already. But I want to bring it with me because what I suspect is that this one will work good when you have a surface to lay it on here because you aren't going to be able to hold this and your sketchbook open in your lap all at the same time. At least that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. So I want to take this and see what happens, but I also want to take this because I know you can lay this one over your leg. So that might be really cool. I have 20, what my family say, I think the tr trip we're going on is 20 some hours with stops, like 24 hours of traveling time alone. And I thought it would be really cool to put this over my leg in the truck and see if I could even paint that way. The problem is this paint is taking so long to dry. Let me think about this a minute. Today's Monday, so I released that video on Friday, but I actually went out of town on Thursday. So this has been Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days, and it's still not dry. So the feasibility of putting paint in here and having it be ready to travel just doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. The paint will be too wet. So I know, I've been told, and I've told you guys in my watercolor palette tour, I'll link that up here, that these are actually slightly smaller pans than normal, but I still wanna see if maybe these core pans will fit in here because then I could just transport these 12 pans into here and see what happens. So that's the plan. We're gonna see, It'll we'll know real soon if this works or not. I just have to grow grab. Oh, I have my pocket knife right here. So just see if we can get these out and one of those in. Let's see what happens. My knife's kind of sharp, but I don't wanna hurt them. Okay, that was easy. Let's pull one of these out. All right, turns out it's easy with the sharp pocket knife. Okay, please fit because that would just make this way too easy. Okay, they don't really fit, but let's see if we squish. Squish. Squish works. And they still close. Yeah, I'm getting paint from my finger all over that. Okay, cool. We're gonna go ahead and transport all of these, um, transport, transplant all of these. Now these don't have the, see how this has the little sticky on the bottom? My core ones do not have that, but I think the by me squishing them in there, I think they'll stay. Plus, you close it with this lid, so I think it'll be all right. Let's just do it and find out, and I will time lapse you now from this point on.
Those are all in there. I'm so glad that worked. I just really want to do this comparison. I don't know, I may throw that in, it doesn't really fit. I pretty well know these colors by heart. I've used this little painter plenty. So I think I'll go ahead and just leave this home. And I know I just did an episode of art while traveling, but my life kind of is traveling. Um, my son is a near pro enduro racer and we have to go all over the US for races. And I assume that's going to go internationally here soon when all that opens back up. So if you're wondering why the heck I'm traveling so much in COVID, well, there was a little bit of a family vacation since they still had the lake open. They did close it for a while, but while they had it open, we took advantage of that. And then with my son's racing schedule and then my the rest of my family and, and myself have raced also, but this year it's just my son so far. It's a big deal. So we're heading cross country, 2,000 some miles. I need to look that up for sure. I'll put that on the screen, but that's why I'm traveling so much and it's fun, but it's also stressful, especially with a YouTube schedule of two videos a week. This has been really, really hard for me. So I'm going to leave you guys hanging and I absolutely hate to do that. I am so sorry. I hate it when other YouTubers do that. They're like, hey, here's this box. Oh, I'm sorry we are not going to do anything with it in this video and that just drives me crazy but guess what i i have to do that to you guys so i'm really sorry but what i will do for this video is i'm going to make a little swatch sheet for this so that i'll have it with me and just because these are colors that I picked some colors that I haven't used before for Mission Gold, and some are similar colors that I'm used to, but I wanna have a swatch sheet for that because I'm a little unfamiliar with three or four new colors, and these two are the same as my last palette. And then these I'm very used to, so no worries there, but I will do the swatch sheet for you guys, and I'm hoping to try and be able to take footage of me using these. Like I said, this one can, like, pretend my arm right now is my leg, and I showed this to you before, but if you're pretending my arm is my leg, this goes over your leg, you put water in each side and you have water paint and you don't have to hold the palette. So I suspect in the truck, if I can even paint in the truck, I get a little car sick, but we'll see that this is going to work better than this. But I'm excited to try them both out. So let's swatch this out and we'll leave the video with this swatch and I guess subscribe if you wanna see that next video. Keep an eye out for that, the little bell for all notifications. Otherwise, YouTube only tells you once in a while when I upload. So if you don't wanna miss that, let's do that. Also, there's a couple other reviews of this micro palette. I will link in the description box below. The only two I've seen out so far are from the Frugal Crafter, Lindsay Ryrick and uh, Teo. I don't know how to say his last name, but I'll link them below. So just check those two out. I will also link how to get this micro palette and this one, if you don't have it, in the description box below. All right, let's do the swatch and get to it. These are a couple of pieces of Arches watercolor paper that I just had left over from another project. And I think these are cut down to be ATC trading card size, which is no big deal, but they're already small. They're already cut. So I'm just going to cut it even smaller to fit this and swatch. That should be fun. And I don't know if this was on video, but I did take notes of what the colors were because I knew I was leaving town again for several days. Wanted to remember them when I came back. Let's get to it. Always keep these little scraps because you can see here, you can use them when you're testing paint colors and stuff out. Nice to have the same paper that you're painting on, even if it's a little scrap. Crud, I need water. A cute little mixing chart. There's obviously different gradations, variations, more of one color, less of one color that you can do, but this is fun. I'll probably just cut this out and take it with me. When I do the travel video, I'm not going to necessarily be comparing paints to each other. I'm not going to pit Mission Gold versus Core. I kind of already have a video on that anyway. If it comes up, it'll come up. But the big idea on that next video is to see what this micro does versus the classic. It should be fun. And I'm kind of curious also because I created this little palette with only two colors that I'm very familiar with from the palette, Lemon Yellow and Ultramarine Deep. And so the other colors will be new for a little limited palette and we'll see how that goes. So I will be keeping you posted on that and hopefully I can upload a video for you on Friday. There's no service out where we're going, but my husband says I should be able to drive a little bit away and get some. So I am hoping to upload a video for you on Friday. 
I'll be gone also on Tuesday, so hopefully there'll be a video on Friday and Tuesday, and if not, then I will see you in a week and a half, but I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to get a video up for you guys on this little thing. Initial impressions are it's absolutely adorable, so cute. The fact that they give you these extra hands makes it nice because you can set this up and then if you're like, well, that sap green didn't really work, you can just change it out for another one and you don't have to dig out your paint, so that's handy. All right, that's all laminated. It should just go there. It has this particular weight goes together because of certain tabs snapped all together. Now this one won't fit inside of this, but it will fit inside that and yeah I just threw that but it landed on my lap so we're good all right in we go ready to go and here's this all packaged up and I did go ahead and put the swatch sheet on there it's bending it a little bit but I don't think that's anything that's going to be detrimental I'm kind of a visual person I have learned which bumps me out but that's the way it is so I decided to go ahead and throw that in trying to take even less stuff this trip I will show you the painting stuff you saw these two all I'm gonna go with is the Micron 5-2, a mechanical pencil, and a little Posca pen that's white for highlights if I need it. And then for videoing, just this, I can wrap it around stuff, hang my camera, and my camera will fit in that. And for my camera, all I'm going to be using is my very dirty cell phone. That's that for filming. I also have to bring my external hard drive because of the video aspect of that. My computer itself, which is just a Microsoft Surface Pro, so it's pretty tiny. Pretty well should do it, and we'll see if I can get two videos up while traveling. Oh, I might throw this in, because I was just going to use the brush that came in the Portable Painter Classic. It is pretty tiny, and this one's pretty versatile. And I'm going to throw it all into this awesome pouch. This is from Denise Soden of In Liquid Color. If you guys don't know her YouTube site yet, go check it out. She has really fun paintings. Yep, I have more. I kind of need something to paint on. Ugh, my sketchbook would be good. This tape has to go with me wherever I go. And I don't even know where my sketchbook is. So I'm gonna go find that and it'll fit in here, maybe. Found it, it was in the drawer where it actually belongs, which is always the hardest place to find it. There. Finally, that took all day and all night. No, just kidding, that wasn't too bad. The water containers, I will use just the ones that come with the portable painters and I think I want that. Need a bowl eraser. Must have. Okay, we're gonna try that. This should be fun and interesting. The concept alone is just way too cool, first of all, but uh, yeah, I could just talk about this forever, so I'm just gonna let you go, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video with more information about all of this. Have a great week. I think I just tossed one across the room. Oops. Oh no, it was the stickers. Here, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna. I always do that, I'm good. Mm, what do you call them, specialized pans. That's the word, pans. I keep having these PS's and these PSS's. <laughs> oh well, I'll probably have more before I go. This may take a few decades, but I'll get it eventually.